Okay, so let's take a look at our Iris data set in our language. So when we install R and R Studio, we get Iris data set by default shipped with that installation. So if you want to make use of it, we'll simply have to call data and then use Iris. So there are two data sets as you can see Iris and Iris 3, right? So here you see the slight change between these two so when you want to call them simply call for data function and pass iris to it and when you hit enter it will be imported now here let's take a look at some of the operations that we can do with iris data set right so if you want to get the first few rows of iris data set we can simply call for head iris right and then you will get first six rows right then if you want to get the summary of it let's first clear this and go to the top and here right now if you want to get a summary right simply call for summary and then your data set which is iris and here you see get the summary for the details of iris database which includes sepal length, width, petal length, width, and species. Okay, so total 150 species categorized into three Citosa, Versicular, and Virginica. Right, so what we have done so far is we have imported Iris data set, we checked for six rows, also managed to summarize the data. Then, third thing is we can display rows and columns by using dim function and passing our wrist to it right so simply hit enter and you will see it contains 150 total length of our data including our rows right as you can see simple length width petal length width and spaces are five columns and total 150 entries right so after this we can also take a look at one more thing which is uh, names and call names so let's take a look at names and then pass iris to it right and here you see it will show the name of columns so we can also use call names right and pass iris right and it should give the same result right now what if i want to call for let's say spreadsheet view of this so we simply call for view function where v is uppercase and then pass iris right and then hit enter and you see the spreadsheet view on the top that is generated showing all the 150 rows with five column of data right we can close this by pressing this right and after that let's take a look at the data types of iris so what we will do is we will simply call for class right so class will take our iris data set and when we hit enter it will show it is a data frame right similarly we can also call for a structure function so str and then pass your data set which is iris and then you get structure as well it will uh, show you the details as well as uh, it's one of the data frame with 150 observation of five variables right shows species then also uh, data related to columns simple length petal length and species so pretty much the typical functions that you can use to analyze the iris data we'll also take a look at some of the operations that we can uh, do with iris and then later we'll take a look at uh, plotting that we can do with iris okay so let's take a look at some of the functions that we can use to analyze iris data so there are two ways to work with an iris data one being when we call data iris right so that's one way to get your iris data and another being getting all of that through let's say 
data one and then pushing our each data into that so we will go with this second method today and now what we will do is we will try to count some of the missing values within this data so let's say if i type in miscount right and it should contain uh, let's see the sum of all the missing values so each dot na right so missing values is denoted by na value right so within data one i have all those missing values which will be now collected and the sum will be shown and put into miscount right and if we try to print this out so to get that missing value what we'll do is simply print out our miscount how many missing variables are there so it says zero now similarly there is one more way to check out the duplicates so for duplicates what we will do is we will simply type in duplicated and here we will try to push on that iris data and here you see there is no duplicate value all the 150 of our data observations are unique right so we have managed to count missing values which is zero then we also have means to check duplicates we have done that now we can also uh, get a table uh, say a pivot table with one way count which we can do by let's say typing in table and then here we go for data one and species right and then hit enter and here you see it will show you uh, total three spaces of data right so three rows showing within 150 observation these species are spread out right so these are some of the ways with which we can analyze our iris data now let's take a look at some of the plots that you can do with iris data so open our studio and here let me clear the console and first thing we are going to do is we are going to call our iris data set right once we get the data set the next thing is we are going to call for data length so data length value will be stored in this data frame and here we will call iris and then go for data length right so once this is stored we got one access for beta length next is beta width right and if we get iris and then this dollar sign beta width those two values we have got now we have to call plot method and pass on beta width and length right and then hit enter and on right hand side as you can see we get our plot so that's the scatter plot that we have got based on the values and you can see with the length and width mentioned within the axis x and y respectively and you get the idea how to use this scatter plot to display beta length and width of our iris data set so that's scatter plot now the next that we can do is first let me clear the console and next is star and segment diagram so for those who work in the data sets that are often displayed or visualized using star and segment diagrams we'll find that you can do so with iris data set as well so let's see if i create a data frame with iris and here we pass on let's say one two four and we got that data within data frame now what we will do is we will call for stars function which is basically a graphical function that displays star and segment diagram so stars and then pass on your data frame right and then 
we will see that we get stars diagram so basically it shows the data based on our value that we have within our data frame now similarly what we can do is we can also add specific data right to visualize dimensional data because that's what star diagram does also if you want to visualize your dimensional data along with the segments then you add segments part and set it to true so we will first go with our stars then pass on df then let's say key location right so it's basically a vector with x and y coordinates of unique key right and for that we pass on say 17 and say 0 right and if I hit enter it should reflect within our plot here and as you can see in the bottom it shows simple width length right simple length and then simple width then petal width right and it's visible if you just take the window to the for the bottom all of those four are visible within this at the bottom now what we can do for our uh, segments diagram is we type in stars then within our function we will pass on our data frame then key dot locations which is this time we set it for 20 and 0.5 and then we use draw segments set to true right and if I run this it should also show me segments within my stars and segment diagram so that's one of the uh, another plot that you can make with the help of IRS data set so let's go ahead and check one more Now let's clear the console and now let's take a look at histogram now to draw histogram what we have to do is we have to call this hist function and it should take iris and then simple length right then we pass on our column steel blue right and then next thing is we passing on histogram right and then next is we pass on x lab and y lab values which is basically our length and right so length and frequency right so hopefully I got everything right and here you see the histogram output right here you can see length on X and frequency on Y with the respective values for your simple length right also you can change this color to something like let's say green that would do as well right so sorry so let's let me just copy this right so here and if we go to this particular part and change this to green and hit enter and as you see it changes that color right so let's go with next plot right which is going to be a box plot right so let me clear the code right now what we can do is we can first type in box plot right and the box plot takes your simple length right and then uh, first thing is getting the tilde and then 
call for species right and then we will describe our data set data equals to iris right and next is we are also going to check for let's say main equals to sql length right so make sure to have it within sql dot length right within quotes okay then x lab y lab values which is basically going to be a species and simple length right so x lab species then y lab equals to simple length so color let's go with red, green or red uh, i think i'm going with steel blue is good enough so next is our color steel blue then we have border which is going to be a basically black border black border black border so just type in black right now next thing is closing our box plot and then hit enter and here you see the output shows steel blue color values for that and with the border of black so it shows simple length and species right so respectively those are listed within x-axis and y-axis so these are some of the plots that you can do with iris data set